Are you serious? Are you serious, folks? We have reports now about Ebola, and it's not good. Now, Heidi has been doing a great job researching and keeping us up to speed on this explosive virus, which the Lord has told her is extremely dangerous for the world and could be one of the first of the seven last plagues to be least unleashed upon the earth. Well, get this, we have a report just come out today from Natural News. Rapidly mutating Ebola virus would kill 1.2 million people if it goes airborne, according to experts they're predicting. There's a chance that this currently circulating Ebola virus could go rogue and become airborne and a scientist from Michigan State University warns that more than one million people would die as a result if Francis Smart's economic matrix simulation model is accurate. As many as 1.2 million people could lose their lives from an airborne mutation of the disease. The latest in the ongoing outbreak saga that is sweeping West Africa. According to Dr. Smart, the World Health Organization failed to take into account that Ebola could turn airborne when it came up with a prediction of 20,000 infections in six months. The United Nations Organization also assumed that massive international aid would arrive in the region back in early August. It hasn't happened. Uh, today, the rate of disease spread is escalating rapidly, and the number of different predictive models say Ebola has reached exponential growth. It is anyone's guess now. In other words, how many people will become infected, especially if anything should change in terms of how the disease is spreading. The estimate of 20,000 assumes full international backing for an intervention to control the deadly outbreak, wrote Dr. Smart in a paper he recently published in the Journal of Echometrics by Simulation. Now, at a first, a figure as high as 20,000 seems exaggerated, especially when looking just at the number of 3,000 cases. And folks, since he wrote this, it's over 6,000 cases, and 2,600 people are dead. Reported the same day, and however, I believe he said the estimate's vastly too small and entirely based on effective, well-funded international relief. And folks, here's the thing. They, they gave a monkey Ebola, put him in a cage. Ten feet away, they put a monkey in a, another cage. No direct contact at all, using extreme methods to feed and to give water to each monkey. Within three months, the monkey, 10 feet away in a separate cage with no contact, came down with Ebola and died. Now, we're seeing that there's, there's this spread of Ebola is exponentially taking off. And I'm telling you, people wearing all of the protective gear are still getting sick with Ebola. And it has to be because the precautions to prevent the, an airborne disease is not being carried out. And it's very possible. Even the CDC of Canada suspects that Ebola is now airborne. The United States CDC director still says no, or he doesn't have enough proof to prove it. The World Health Organization says there's still not enough scientific evidence to back it. But folks, people are getting it and dying. And in my book, I wrote Mark of the Beast, RFID. I know it's an end-time apocalyptic scenario based on current world events and Bible prophecy, but I wrote 10 things in the book in this end-time scenario that have already begun to come past, including mosquito drones. I wrote the Pope would resign instead of dying, Pope Benedict, even though a Pope hadn't done that in 600 years. And I wrote that there would be a Mark virus spread throughout the continent of Africa, killing people in a major plague, and it would be done through a mutated bioterrorism effort by the New World Order. Has it begun? And is it one of the last seven plagues poured out upon the earth 
in the last days? Well, Revelation chapter 15 verses 1 and 2 is a question that only God can answer, but I know this, we are living in the last days. Are you saved? What? Are you saved? Time is running out. Are you serious?